Welcome to a course of love. Mm -hmm. Course of love. Mm -hmm. How many of you all are pretty clear about love? <laughs> yeah, you know, you completely got that handled. That's that's done. Um, well, on page 174 of the Course of Love, at the very bottom of the page, you got the book, page 174. And we know the only rule of the class is we don't have to believe it, right? Accept it, you know, it's okay. It says, um, as was said in the beginning, praying is asking. Praying is asking. Praying is asking. Did you know that prayer is asking? Prayer is asking. Prayer is asking. So you asked for a separated state, and it was made so. We ask to be in a state that it looks like we're separate from each other, and poof. We are in a state where it looks like we're separate from each other. So is everybody clear about how we got into a state where it seems like we're separate with each other? How do we get into a state where it we seems ask. like we, 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 ask. Ask. we ask for it? We ask for it. We ask for it. We ask for it. Okay? And now you need but ask for unity to return for it to be so. Okay? So don't you see that it's saying that we ask to be in a separated state from each other, and so we are in a separated state from each other. Now we're saying we want to be in <laughs> unity with each other, and so um, it's going to happen too. I want it to be separate from y'all. Now I want to be united with you. But I don't want to be united with you, and you don't want to be united with me, while we still think we're separate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to know that I'm united with you out of feeling united with you. <laughs> so it says, the conditions or state of being from which you ask is what is in need of adjustment and thus of training before you can be aware of the answer you will receive. Mm -hmm. So when you ask for something, they just told us, so it's really cool. It says, but in order for you to receive it, you have to be in the condition to receive. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ask for stuff all the time. The problem is that your uh, ability to be in a good receiving state is the problem. Our capacity yes. to be able to receive what we ask for. <laughs> so, it says, so we need to have an adjustment in the condition that we're in mm -hmm. so that we can receive what we're asking for. Mm -hmm. It is clear you can ask for what you know not. Very powerful statement. I'll say it again. You are asking for stuff that you don't know you're asking for. You are asking for things that you don't even know you're asking for. That's what it just told us. You're asking for stuff that you don't even know you're asking for. It. How can you identify the things that you are asking for but you don't know you're asking for? Show up. Right, so they would be the things that I, that I would say I didn't ask for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the thing that you say I didn't ask for that, do you know that that's the thing yes. that you're asking for that you know not? I so there are a lot of like things it. in my life that I'm asking for that I didn't even know I was asking for. I certainly have had some relationships that have fallen into that category. <laughs> where I was asking for something that I didn't even know I was asking for. Uh -huh. Am yeah. I the only one in the room that's had this experience? <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm saying something strange. I'm really telling the truth about it. We all have had the experience of having things that it felt like we didn't ask for those things to happen to us. So the course then says that the problem is, he says, this is not the problem. The problem isn't that you don't know what you're asking for. That's not the problem. It, the, the Course of Love says the problem is in who is doing the asking. Okay, so who's asking for what you are asking for? Ego. 
it's either the problem is what part of you is asking. The problem is what part of you is asking. So then it describes to us the two selves that ask. It says the separated self, while capable of asking, is hardly capable of believing in or accepting the response. So I'm a separated person. I'm asking, who's asking for this stuff? What's creating this stuff that I'm going through, this problem that I'm going through right now? How can I solve that problem? It's saying to us that we're asking questions that we're not capable of responding to the answer. Do you know that? I see it all the time as a teacher facilitator, that you're constantly giving answers out and many times, everyone in the audience, or a lot of people in the audience, have no response. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that we can be receiving <laughs> answers and that there is no response. But that is what the book just said. Mm -hmm. It just said, the separated self always asks questions. And that's true. We sit around and we ask question after question after question. <laughs> How can I get out of this? How can I have this? How can I have that? And then it says, but we're not capable of responding to the answer. We don't do anything about the answer. We don't respond to the answer. Don't you see that that's true? Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's willing to admit yeah. that that's yeah, true that's to a true. large degree with them? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. that, we, that, you, that you receive a lot of instruction and guidance yeah. and answers, but you don't really do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> and so the ego tells you to feel guilty about that, to feel like, yeah. well, you're just a bad person. Mm -hmm. You just, here's another something you failed at. Mm -hmm. But it just says that um, the only reason why we ask is because we know we're not going to do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. That's the next line. He said, yeah, it says it right here. It says, it says uh, the separated self, while capable of asking, is hardly capable of believing in or accepting the response. It is this non-belief in a response that makes it capable of asking. Now that you are beginning to shed the concept of the separate self, now that you're beginning to see that you're more than just a separate self, now that you're beginning to shed the concept of the separate self, that means now that you're beginning to believe in the possibility of response, you will find yourself more afraid to ask. So the, the, more you, the, the more you become likely to respond to an answer, the more you become likely to do something about an answer, the more you become, you're going to become afraid to even ask a question. So the more you know you can do something, the less you're going to ask questions about it. Mm -hmm. wow. I've seen that. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. can, can you give me like an example in your own experience, if you can think of one? Um, like asking what I want to do for a living, mm -hmm. if I'm afraid to do what I know I should be doing. Yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. Asking what I'm supposed to do in a relationship if I'm afraid to make a change. Right, and even, even though you're told that well, the, the way to have a relationship that really works is to support each other for who you really are, not try to right. control each other, not try to limit each other, let each other be. Everybody's capable of doing that, so they don't ask questions about nothing like that because they're not ready to do it yet. <laughs> if I'm afraid to free you, I'm not going to ask questions that's going to free you. I'm certainly not going to hear any answers that say I should free you. <laughs> So it just told us, as long as you, when you know you can do what you would be told, you won't ask. Mm -hmm. And then, isn't that, isn't that deep? Woo. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Like, even if you don't believe in it, it's, wow, it is better than most of the stuff we hear in the news. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it's, it beats the conversation I hear over lunch or something most of the time. You know, that's what I like about this stuff. Even if it's not true, it feels good. Mm -hmm. So that's enough payoff for me. Even though it makes total sense because I see it all the time. It says if you want to pray, you got to start asking. And if you used to be separate and now you're saying you want to be joined with everybody, you have to ask for that too. Then it says you've done that, right? Then it turns around and tells us, okay, now you've asked for what you want. I'm sorry, you're going to have to adjust yourself so that you'll be able to receive what you've asked for so that when it shows up, you'll be able to respond to it. So, so you've got to be ready to receive it when it comes. You've asked, now you have to prepare yourself to receive it. 
And it's clear that you are always asking for things that you don't even know you're asking for, but don't worry about that. That's not the problem. The problem is which part of you is asking for stuff? The part of you that believes it's separate and afraid or the part of you that believes it's connected and one with everybody? What part of you is asking for prosperity and love and abundance? The part of you that's suspicious and doesn't trust people that don't see yourself connected to people? Or is it the part of you that feels unified and connected and feels like you really are one with people asking for prosperity, asking for a relationship, asking to wake up? And which one? which one of you is asking. Then it tells us, well, if it's the part of you that feels separate, and if that's the part that's asking, then you are going to be asking questions all the time. You're going to always be asking what answer for one thing or another thing all the time. He says, but you will not be able to respond to any of the answers that you receive. In other words, you're not going to do a damn thing about anything you're hearing. That's what he just told us. As long as you believe you're separate, as long as you believe that you, and you don't really want to join, there's no answer that's going to come that you're going to do anything about. As long as you feel like you're guilty and you don't think you deserve to be happy, there's not a friggin' answer in any book, in any workshop, in anybody's class that you go to or I go to that's going to do one single thing. You're not going to do one single thing as long as you think you're separate, he says, and you want to stay separate. Uh, but you are at the point that you've made the decision that you really want to change. You really want to connect. You really have made a change. This is right. So he says, well, this is what's going to happen with us. Those of you who know you're ready to change, at the very beginning, what you're going to do is you're going to stop asking questions. You're going to stop being inquisitive. You're going to stop asking questions because you know when you receive the answer, you're capable of responding to it and doing it, and you might not be ready to do it yet. So, so you go from not being able to respond because you're asking a lot of questions to the point where you're afraid to ask questions because you'll get an answer that you know you could do if you really wanted to. <laughs> and so if you're not ready, you're not going to ask the question. That's why I wasn't criticizing the, the group. I'm just trying to use the group for all of us to grow. When I said that last week, if you had noticed, I read stuff out of this book that's very mind-boggling and very, you know, either it puts you to sleep or you turned on. That, that's the way <laughs> these classes are. Either they put you to sleep or they turn you on. You know, that's okay. I don't care. You know, because you should be able to respond however you want to respond wherever you are. So I don't care whether you go to sleep and I don't care whether you stay awake. I'm just happy to have this stuff going through <coughs> because it heals me and I want to join with everybody else who want to hear something different too. Mm. That's what I'm here for. So I'm glad that I've reached the, my limit. So, so this is what's happening. So when I say stuff like, are there any questions? They're very simple.